Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 PS5 showcase announcements. Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. Quit being so paranoid. For this list, we'll be looking at the biggest reveals from Sony's PlayStation 5 event, which took place on September 16th, 2020. Which PS5 announcement has you the most excited? Let us know down in the comments. Number 10. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. After seven main games, the Five Nights at Freddy's series remains a freaky good game, although the jump scares have become a touch predictable. The trailer for Security Breach caught us off guard, however, with its next-gen graphics and haunting atmosphere. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? With an ominous voice attempting to lure out a frightened child named Gregory, one might assume that this is a Portal 3 trailer at first. As the camera zooms out though, you'll find a few familiar characters from the Five Nights universe. This neon-lit establishment is Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. At three stories tall, it's one of the biggest and creepiest environments that Freddy has ever trapped us in. Saving the most shocking scare for last, Freddy's back and looking better than ever. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Number 9. Oddworld Soulstorm Did those fugitive morons burn down their own hideout? It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks like. Bigger, badder, bolder, more brutal, not to mention odder, Oddworld Soulstorm aspires to be all of these things, and this trailer reinforces the game's promises. As a reimagining of Abe's Exodus and a follow-up to New and Tasty, Soulstorm seems to be upping the ante in new and innovative ways. Wait here. Hey, why the hold up? I could go for a sandwich right well, now. We gotta get out of here. Come on, let's tummy's, get out of here. My tummy's growling. The Moloch Returns trailer finds Abe attempting to rescue his friends while also eluding a few old enemies. What seems like the end of a journey is only the beginning. While Soulstorm will also be on PS4, creative director Lorne Lanning has highlighted the power of the PS5, saying that its mind-blowing 3D audio puts you in the middle of the action, as if you're right next to Abe helping him and his fellow Maduckins escape. And it's all made possible by the power of PlayStation 5. Number 8. Resident Evil Village In life and in death, we give glory. The bell tolls for us all! With Biohazard, the Resident Evil franchise finally returned to its survival horror roots. Judging from this trailer, Resident Evil Village will continue to steer the series in the right direction, while also taking it in a bold new one. While many Resident Evil trademarks remain present, Village has the essence of a twisted fairy tale. Quit being so paranoid. With gothic environments, sinister narration, and a serious Tim Burton vibe, it's different from what we've come to expect, but it feels so right. Although the trailer is draped in snowy landscapes, the story at its core is reminiscent of something you'd hear around a campfire. It's capped off with the coolest title unveiling of recent memory, as the first four letters in Village form a Roman numeral 8. Number 7. PlayStation Plus Collection Can you kill something that big? If you didn't purchase a PS4, you've missed out on one of gaming's greatest libraries of all time. Fortunately, Sony will give you a chance to catch up with the PlayStation Plus collection. This PlayStation Plus benefit allows PS5 owners to download a vast collection of classic PS4 titles at launch. Among the generation-defining games showcased in the trailer are God of War, Bloodborne, Monster Hunter World, Final Fantasy XV, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat X, Uncharted 4, Ratchet & Clank, Days Gone, Until Dawn, Detroit, Battlefield 1, Infamous Second Son, Batman Arkham Knight, The Last Guardian, The Last of Us Remastered, Persona 5, and Resident Evil Biohazard. We think this phenomenal list of games speaks for itself, but Sony has really sweetened the deal. Number 6. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales 
Uh, hey! <laughs> Dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. The second Marvel Spider-Man game practically broke the internet when it was announced in June 2020, although we were left with a few questions. Thankfully, Sony has since cleared up some confusion. While it's launching with PS5, Spider-Man Miles Morales will also be available on PS4. The retail price for the standard edition has been set at $49.99. For an extra $20 though, you can pick up the Ultimate Edition, which includes a remaster of Marvel Spider-Man. The visually stimulating trailer delves deeper into the follow-up story. Taking place one year later, Miles has relocated to Harlem as his mother runs for office. All the while, Miles finds himself caught between two feuding organizations as well as a collapsing bridge. Be greater, be yourself. Number 5. Hogwarts Legacy Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. Despite its enormous potential, we've yet to get a truly great game set in the Wizarding World. Maybe that's why Dudley destroyed his PlayStation. Hogwarts Legacy might be the game that Harry Potter fans have been waiting for. It's been speculated for some time that a Wizarding World RPG has been in the works, but it wasn't confirmed until this showcase. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells. This RPG takes place in the late 1800s, long before Harry was born, although a young Dumbledore could show up. In any case, the player will assume the role of a student, allowing us to take classes, find fantastic beasts, and explore a magical open world. The trailer also promises a choice-driven narrative that'll not only affect your character, but the future of Hogwarts. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Number 4. Demon Souls So the world might be mended. Oh my god, this looks so good! Although it was one of the best games on the PS3, Demon's Souls doesn't get as much attention as the Dark Souls trilogy or Bloodborne. Demon's Souls paved the way for those amazing games, however, and if you overlooked it back in the day, the PS5 remake should be a top priority. You heard us right. This isn't merely a remastered port, but a full-blown remake from Bluepoint Games, the same company that handled the remake of Shadow of the Colossus. So, you know that this masterpiece is in good hands. If you need further proof, look no further than the gorgeous trailer that dropped during the showcase. Releasing as a PS5 launch title, Demon's Souls appears as gripping and challenging as ever. Number 3. God of War, Ragnarok. The time draws near. Just when you thought the showcase was over, Sony had one last surprise for us. God of War ranked number one on our list of the best PS4 exclusives, which should come as a surprise to nobody. Given its universal acclaim, there was never any doubt that a sequel would happen, but Sony had been secretive as to when we may see Kratos and Atreus again. <sighs> Gather your things. We are leaving. As an Omega symbol began to form, we could hardly prepare ourselves. Outside of some cryptic yet epic narration from Kratos, the trailer shares little in terms of story or gameplay, hence why it's not even higher on this list. Regardless, the reveal of the title and the 2021 release window is more than enough to get us psyched. Leave. My. Home. Number 2. Final Fantasy 16. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders, we follow them. Sony kicked off its showcase on a high note, officially announcing Final Fantasy 16 as a console exclusive, with the exception of PC. Naoki Yoshida returns as a producer, but he hands the directional duties over to Hiroshi Takai. This change in direction is reflected through the footage shown. It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. 
Final Fantasy is known for taking players to worlds that seamlessly blend elements of sci-fi and, well, fantasy. Based on the trailer though, it looks like this entry will emphasize high fantasy. It seems more like Game of Thrones or Dark Souls than a traditional Final Fantasy game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. On the contrary, it has potential to breathe new life into the long-running franchise, although we'll have to wait until 2021 for the next big announcement. I'll kill you. If it's the last thing I do. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Prices and Release Dates As awesome as these trailers are, the main reason we watched this showcase was to find out when we can get a PS5 and how much we'd have to fork over. Our patience was rewarded towards the end, revealing that the base console with a disk drive costs $499 US. If that's out of your price range, the digital version is $399 US. Either way, both prices are far more reasonable than what we paid for the PS3. Those who live in the US, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and South Korea can start playing as early as November 12th. For the rest of the world, the console releases on November 19th. Oh, and you can pre-order at select retailers right now. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.